Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your support towards the analysis of this channel. Recently, and of course after William Samuel Ruto and Rigad Gashagwa has captured the police institution, I want to say that Kenyans are in danger. Why am I saying that Kenyans are in danger? After William Samuel Ruto's government has already captured the attention of the police. When you look across the Republic of Kenya, and of course the news that is streaming in, be it in social media, be it in the media houses, you will spot that there are several towns that crime has now come back as usual, as if it is a normal job that is being supported by the government. I saw somewhere in Twitter where someone tagged Johnson Sakaja, where the certain robbers that cheated him and lied to him while he was having his vehicle, and when he asked direction, he was directed where their fellow colleagues were. And guess what happened to that person? He was dragged out of the car. He was uh, snatched a phone, the money that he was having in his car, and he was dumped there, not knowing what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, why is it that at this moment, Police officers are afraid in action. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a visitor for the first time watching this video, please do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos like this, you get notified automatically by YouTube. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the great job that you're doing. Now, the police officers are afraid to do their job as the way they were doing. Number one, they are afraid of being reined in the court. It is something that is shocking if certain police officers are being seen in the courts, and some of them, the last year, I, I saw some of them were being cleared as innocent. Some who are being accused even losing their jobs. So you find that police officers, now they're working in a way that they are at risk, that they are fearing to be reigned or accused. So for them, they are also watching, sitting down just watching as the way dramas is continuing to happen. I've seen in Nairobi County, where there is an alarm that has been raised, in certain areas, like driving, all soaps, uh, rounder, um, there's some uh, Donholm, Gidurai, several areas that has been raised an alarm that these gangsters are coming up. When you see Kenyans are complaining, they are complaining not that all police officers are on a leave term. All police officers are on their duties. Whatever these police officers are fearing is that that fully mandate that they were having, it has been snatched away by this government. And that is why the other time I told you that when you see a government telling us that whatever the other police officers did in the regime of other government, but now they are feeling that they are going to give independence uh, um, operation of the police, yet on the other hand, they are oppressing the police. In a way that when it comes to performing their duties, they cannot. Why? Because they are being threatened. That look, you cannot do this. You cannot do this.
You cannot do this, you cannot do this. And that is why just few police officers, one, two, three, that was having a mistake, now they are being branded as one. I want to say, even in the regime of Willy Uhuru Kenyatta, police officers were good people. In fact, if you have ever interacted with a police officer, police officer is a good man, as long as you are doing the right thing. In fact, when today they will be given independent operation, the way they were doing it, today this crime will not be there. Because even some of them, they are reporting to us, they are afraid even to have that um, camping during na night time. Ile operation na usiku. They are afraid. Because when they are going to find a thief, na wauwe, then they are going to be accused in the court without even investigation. The other time I told you that if it is the government that is going to perform poorly, it is this government. Because they have captured all attention of the independent institutions of the Republic of Kenya. Be the police, they have captured. Be it judiciary, they have captured. Be it IBC, they have captured. Be it AECC, they have captured. So whatever they say, and that is whatever these people are doing. In fact, even DCI. So they have just located their people to be there. Not to do whatever they are mandated to do. Because if today police officers, don't tell me that IG was not there. Even if IG is not there, police officers will work. They have been working. So the problem that is there is that they are feeling like that freedom of working in a way they were protecting Kenyans is not there. They are doing in accordance to the special direction from the bow. And that is why they are fearing day in, day out. So these claims that people are claiming that police officers are just watching where? Because a police officer will not watch someone robbing each other, they will not accept. I know police officers. They are in front of doing their good job. I know them. I've interacted with many of them. I know police officers are good people. So the only problem is they are not having that 100% independent operation the way they were having. That is whatever is happening. And that is why day in, day out, Rigadi Gashago will talk the way he knows about police officers. So ladies and gentlemen, we will still wait longer because that independent operation of police officers are not there. These that you are hearing in televisions, newspapers are not there. These police officers are not in freedom to work the way they are operating their jobs. Maybe that was my opinion. What are your opinion? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.